Hi guys, thanks for coming to my channel today. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make a washi book. Um, I have this piece of acetate that I got from Michael's. I've already cut it down and everything um, because I want it to fit into my new um, Happy Planner Mini, if I can get it to fit in the shot, guys. It's so big, I'm trying something new. I don't know how this is going to work out. But I want it to fit in there, so I just want to come to you guys right fast and show you how I do it. Alright, so let's get started. I've already um, cut this down to seven inches, seven and a quarter. And so now I'm going to cut it to um, two and a half inches. I think that'll be big enough. So, and so when you cut it, it'll be, you know, this size like this so I'm gonna cut one more because it is gonna be a book so I'm gonna make two yep, so I cut the second one so now we have two two sheets and I'm gonna use my regular single hole punch and just punch a hole in it at the I'm just going to punch a hole at the top of it, and I'll show you in just a second. Let's see if I can do them both at the same time. Yep. All right. And so the hole looks like this. A little hole in there. Looks like this. I guess I'm going to have to hold it to the side, guys. I'm trying a new angle because I don't know if you guys get tired of seeing it like from the side. So I'm trying to angle so we can try to see. I'm going to have to get me a tripod, um, you know, so I'll be able to do it. So my thought process is, um, you know, punch a hole in here so we can put it together. Let me get some more supplies. I didn't plan to do this video right now. That's why I'm not prepared guys but y'all forgive me but I'm gonna use um one of these I guess I'll use this one uh, to tie it I think I'm gonna um cut it as well I'll show you in just a second let me see if I can Excuse me, get this off. All right, let me just, I don't know how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna try to do them both at the same time so at least they'll both be uniform. And guys, since I'm doing this sort of upside down and it's not really getting in the shot, I'm just gonna cut it and then I'll show you how I cut it scallops the stuff but I wanted it to have sort of a shape so I um, cut it like this sort of have some sort of design you could the way I did it to fit into my um, planner let me just show you the one I made it looks like this and it is a book you know you can see it's more than one. I made three for my planner. And see, this is a little bow that I'm telling you about that I'm trying to make. And then this is the little tab so that you could see it on the out, on the outside of the planner. But what I did was punch it. So your next thing, after before you put the washi on, like after you cut it to whatever shape you want. Okay, big girl. Wait a minute, guys. When you cut it to whatever shape it is that you want, then if you want to punch it, you can because you don't have to. So this one, maybe I'll punch one. So you guys can see how it punches, but it's not that easy to punch with the Mandy punch, but it will punch it. You just have to press down a few times and then it will eventually punch. If you could hear that 
it went through. And so it did punch. You can't really see, but yeah, it did punch. So now I'm going to use this one. And I picked these washies to make with it my rose gold washies. And so these are the ones I'm going to use. I don't know if this big one will fit. Mm -mm. I think it's going to be too big. I'll have to use it on the other one because it won't fit on here. It's too wide. So that's one thing to think about. If you're going to be putting it into the Happy Planner, um, you might have to make one that doesn't punch. Okay, so what we have to do first is you have to put start it off in between where it's punched. And so I do that and I just, you know, put it around and just go around it. And that's it. And try to keep it straight. That's the problem I was having last night is trying to keep it straight so that it won't cover up your punch. You know, you won't have to worry about it if you're not punching it. But if you are, then... Let me see if I can do it, guys. Then you will have to. I'm sorry to take it out of the shot, but I'm trying to get it back straight. And that's it. You just roll on, you know, as much as you want. I'm going to show you one more time. And then I like to just stop mine on the back so you won't have all those rips across the front. And it looks like this. It doesn't matter if it's wrinkled. I'm not going to roll off a lot of my tape on here. Because I already have that one that's in my... um. So if you have words and it starts on the opposite side and you care about it, you know, not being upside down, then just start wrapping from the other side. Just make sure... You're in between the punches, like this, and you have to make sure it's And you just do it like that. Just wrap it, guys. So I'm going to finish this because I don't want you guys to be just, you know, watching me just wrap a whole bunch of washi. And um, I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, guys. So these are what I came up with. So after you get your um, washi tape on, looks like this. You just get your um, ribbon and bring it through the back. I'm trying to line my holes up. Just take it through the back. And get whichever one you want on the top. And pull it through. And so the back looks like this with the loose knot there. You can tighten it if you want. And then just tie it in a bow. That's what I did. See if I can get it in a bow. This one might be too short. Let me see. Let me try it again. Let me try to pull that knot a little bit tighter. And maybe it'll be a little bit longer. Ooh, I don't want to pull the knot through. So let's see. 
Let's try it again, guys. I might have to cut another piece of ribbon. Should have cut my ribbon longer and then just... Um, you know, cut it off at the end. But you want to be able to re... Um, you you want to be able to take it apart if you need to to put more washi on or take one with you wherever you go. The one that I put in my book it worked a better than this. I should have measured my ribbon, but I'm trying not to waste anything. But you get the gist of it. You know, just make a bow, and this is how it looks. You know, you could just take it off like that and um, so the punch one is on the bottom I can show you let's see if I can show you in my happy planner in my big happy planner so you can see that it can it'll fit you know either happy planner this is my rose gold happy planner it's so stuff with stuff but so I, I, on this one, I didn't punch the top uh, washi, but on the one in my little happy planner, I did. But you, you know, you don't need to, to punch it. And so it just looks like that. And that is it, guys. Let me get to my granddaughter. So thank you so much for coming to watch this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.